Let me share something that I hope doesn't happen to any of you guys because it happened to me today and it's completely surprising. I'd always heard about just how fragile LiPo batteries are and I was getting ready to do a, just a test flight of a configuration on my quad and I noticed that my uh, Turnigy 9X switch was on and there obviously was no display on the LCD. So what I came to find out is I went to open it and I had a real hard time to pull the uh, door open. I'm actually running a Li Hobby King Life for my Turner G9X and I'm, I store them in this military ammo box that I bought from a friend of mine. And this is what I saw. So you can notice that this guy's really kind of bloated and it's real. I mean, it's, you can definitely tell it's under pressure. So I've just obviously been storing my batteries in this uh, ammo box because of just this reason. And I've seen, if you've seen any YouTube videos, you should definitely be considering uh, a safe container for storage and charging. But when I take a voltage reading, take a quick reading right now, you'll notice that it doesn't even power on the display. Normally you'll see a reading for each cell. So somehow, I guess even the fact that I left the uh, 9X on, it really just uh, took this battery all the way down way below the recommended voltage per cell and now it's pretty much dead. And what's really unfortunate is that when I purchased this, it was configured you know, to accept the life battery. And as we all know, ordering from Hobby King, I'm probably not gonna see that for another four to six weeks. So I'm gonna be left to doing some sort of um, battery, you know, double A battery configuration so that I can get back up in the air. That was the first time that I've ever accidentally left that on and you can see what happened. So uh, just a tip, if you're flying with a Turner G9X or any transmitter with a LiPo, just be, be careful with that. And these 50 cal ammo boxes are great. They're very heavy grade and I keep kind of store all my LiPos in there. I realize, you know, if I do lose one LiPo in there, it's gonna set the rest of them on fire. But I mean, that's a small price to pay uh, versus the alternative. So definitely recommend using something like this or even a battery charging bag um, if you're familiar with those. My buddy has, I think about a couple dozen of these. So if you're interested, just shoot me a message and um, I'll put you guys in touch. And in the meantime, I've gone ahead and MacGyvered this uh, duct tape and solder, uh, eight triple A's, you know, for 12 volts. And I pulled the um, connector off the life. So it's kind of a MacGyver solution, a little bit old school. Actually calling it MacGyver might be a little bit generous. And power works fine, thankfully. So that's just what I'm doing temporarily. And actually the guys at parkflyer.com, P-A-R-K-E flyer, have suggested, I was on their site looking for a battery and they suggested you could get a zippy from the USA warehouse. So that should be here in a couple days and then I'll be back in uh, normal action. So that was just a quick update to you know, tell you don't do what I did and also make sure you take good care of your lipos. Just um, keep them concealed somewhere safe both when you're storing them and charging them. That's it for now, and please post any comments if you have them. Thanks for watching.